Hey, what's up? It's me, Waffles. In this video, I'm going to be giving you five good reasons why not to buy Airport Simulator 2014. As you can see, here's this really well-designed image of Airport Simulator 2014 advertising it. And based on the reviews for the game, this image probably had more money put into its design than the game did. Just saying, you know, I think if they actually put as much money as they did in the game design, they would have come up with something a little bit more like this. Yeah, it would have looked a little bit more like this. At least from my point of view, it is. Alright, so let's get to the first reason why you shouldn't buy it. Here's the first of you. Right, the goal of this game makes this a brilliant game. Well, it's right, simple. You start out as the only worker on an airport. So you... So things take time. The more, then the more you work, the more credits you earn. Credits have only one use: to hire workers to do different jobs for you faster, so that you don't have to. So in the end, you can have the AI do all the work for you, and you just don't have to play the game anymore at all. So the game plays itself in the end, so you can do more productive stuff like watch paint dry. And the best part is, when you save the game, the game crashes. Because since DirectX got a tumor watching it play. Yep, that's about straightforward as you can get on how much the game sucks. Alright, on to the next one. Cons. As you can see, there's no pro before it. Which symbolizes that this person really didn't like the game either. Lack of instruction. Who needs them anyways? Don't hit any cars with other cars. Amazing physics engine makes them flip over. And here's what that pretty much is. This is what happens if you hit a plane with a car. Yeah, pretty stupid, you know. A plane gets totaled by a car. Makes lots of sense. Obviously, lots of thought went into the physics of this game. Alright, next one. Have to wait actual real life minutes to prepare to plane. Realism. Character models are extremely realistic. Can't tell if they're real or not. You don't drive moving a steering wheel, it moves by itself. Who needs them? Graphics are better than Minecraft and Ultra. You can feel the engine blowing through your face. Don't know what that means, but probably means this game sucks. Alright, on the next one, reason. Thanks for making the exit button work. 10 out of 10 would delete this game from my inventory again. Now, if somebody puts this review on your game, you know your game sucks. If they thank you for making the exit button work, you, you obviously made a horrible game. And you should probably go and live in a corner for the rest of your life. This game made me question my purpose of existence. Now, I actually bought this game on accident with the simulator pack. And I didn't realize how bad it was until I actually played it. So, I'm not surprised that some people question their existence after playing this game. Not to mention you have to pay for it. $9.00. Which is extremely expensive considering how cruddy the game is. Alright, on to the next one, and final one. Sat doing nothing for half an hour whilst I wait for passengers to disembark the plane. 10 out of 10 would do nothing again. Yep, if you didn't read the reviews before buying this game, shame on you, because the reviews give you a pretty enlightened detail of how much the game sucks and how much fun you won't have with your nine dollars there's way better games for less you know team fortress 2 is free you get way better experiences out of team fortress 2 than airport simulator 2014 most people call it airport stimulator because it's a piece of junk i mean most people recommend you have it as a desktop background more like instead of a game which I recommend too, not to mention the music that plays during the game cannot be turned off and is really annoying. So that's about it for this one. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and don't buy this game, no matter what you do.